When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. All right. Hi. Good morning, Sarah. Hi, guys. Thank you for allowing us, first of all, to give you a call about this. Because honestly, when I saw your email, I had opinions about you and your character. So I would, I am so happy that you allowed us to give you a call. So maybe you can say in your own words what's going on. Well, I gotta tell you, I don't know where else to go. So I'm really glad you guys call. I really, I really sort of not clear. I don't know. I'm looking for a little, a little like brotherly guidance here. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, sister league. Yeah. Um, uh, this is new guy that started at my office. It's been a few weeks and, um, you know, physically adorable, mm-hmm. like totally my type. And, he seems to have his head on straight. He just seems like he's really interesting and he's been paying a little attention to me. And so I really want to try and start something, you know, I want to shoot my shot. Okay. But, uh, there's a bit of a backstory and, you know, I said to, to, to you all, so, you know, um, according to my coworkers, you know, these are people that I see every day, but I don't really know them that well, but, uh, they think that I'm in a in a pretty serious relationship, and um, that I I I've, I've been in in this for um, a bunch of years, like like four years. Okay, so explain why they would get that impression. Well, sort of what I told them, um, and I wanted them to believe that it was true. Um, Am I getting this right that you manufactured a fake relationship for four years in their eyes? You could say it that way. Okay. I, mean, I, I would sort of say it nicer, but that's basically true. Okay. I mean, you get really tired of, of everyone having these romantic weekends, these great dates, and everyone like, well, what's new with you? I'm like, um, nothing. Okay. So I started to send myself you know, flowers on Valentine's Day and, you know, cards on my birthday. And, you know, I made up a story about Danny, who the pilot. And, um, mm, okay. you know, he's usually flying when I, when, when we have like events, so he can't show up to happy hour. Sure. Um, but we take lots of interesting trips and I can't believe I'm telling you all this. It's kind of stupid, but, um, you know, they tell me, they ask about my weekend. And so I make stuff up about how, you know, he uses his private pilot license and we go to cool vacations and, I may have some pictures of me and Danny, you know, on my desk. Somebody I found online when I oh was googling. Gosh. How did okay, you? So you have? I was going to ask if you if they asked for pictures. Like, oh, what's he look like? So you found someone online that you've been said that's him. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, I found sort of a, a, a photo of, of you know, there's all these stock photo sites. So I just sort of picked the guy that seemed like he was pretty hot and um you know did some photoshopping and what co-worker is going to fact check a photo like right uh, yeah right. i get okay. it right i mean i didn't pick somebody you know i didn't pick somebody famous you know i'm not standing next to Robert that was probably Daddy smart <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> that's probably smart okay yeah all right so here's my dilemma right i want to make a breakup i want to end this you know, relationship that's not real, but I really want this, this, I'm like really tempted by the new guy. And so I need to figure out like how to tell everybody I've broken up and then I'm supposed to like wait a certain time. So the new guy doesn't think that I'm still on a rebound and right. um, Would hate for him to think that you're nuts like that. Right. Well, but she's right. Like, you don't want to immediately yeah. break up and then immediately shoot your shot with someone else because that looks bad, right? Exactly. Thank you. Yes. yes. A exactly. thousand percent. So how long am I supposed to wait until I tell everybody we've broken up to when I can actually, like, feel like well, it's, it's, you know. You break up immediately, but, but then it's, uh, okay, what's the appropriate waiting period in everyone's eyes before you... Right. Start like saying, hey, so and so in accounting pretty hot. I don't know. What okay. So, in, so Sarah, yes. can I summarize? Yeah, can I summarize for everyone kind of what I'm hearing from you? Y- you have, <laughs> you have made up a boyfriend and are dating yeah. someone 
who isn't real, and now someone who has moved into your office space and works next to your coworker is is real. You want to shoot your shot with, yeah. but you can't because you are your dating fake boyfriend, an imaginary boyfriend, and you want and to have break been up for four years, and you want to break up with yeah. this long term imaginary boyfriend, and you want to know yeah. how long until you can ask out the real guy. Okay, all right. I just want to make sure that right. I've got so, it all. Yeah. Out. Yeah, so like you're if you're real a real person a real man and you know that you think somebody's had a four year relationship that's been serious right yeah so how long do I need to wait so that you, he's not freaked out that it's just a relation that I'm just on the rebound and I and I don't really like it. have you played out a, a breakup scenario in your head like is it just going to be well he's just gone all the time and it just ran its course or did he cheat or w- what's the scenario behind the breakup do we know that yet. I haven't figured that one out yet. I mean, okay. it could it could definitely be that he's really unavailable. Right. I mean, I kind of I, I hate to have him cheating, right? Because that like your coworkers think he's a good guy. And I yeah, I mean, I built him up to be a really nice guy, and I I don't want him to be hated now. You know, like, honestly, want, oh, Sarah, yeah. you should be writing romance novels. You should like <laughs> you, this. This is you have embodied this character. You have embodied this scenario. Listen, pick up a Colleen Hoover book or two and read those because your life is playing out oh, like one of those. That's a good idea. <laughs> All right, but but Sarah, I mean, this is a like ju- the writer. They're probably really good at this, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yes. This is a judgment-free yeah. zone, so we. I, I appreciate you again for allowing us to talk to you about this. I think we've got a lot of people checking in, and I want to warn you that our listeners tend to have zero filter when it comes to uh, the thoughts that come in their brain and come out their fingers and their mouth. Right. So well, yeah, yes, but yeah. listen, we, we need the advice to be twofold. We need to um I guess confirm the breakup scenario and then B, we have to right. find out how long you have to wait until you shoot your shot. Right. I mean like I'd love to hear from like any guys that would like yeah. wonder you know I would when too. it would be okay to get into a real relationship with someone after they've broken up with someone. Yeah. I would you too. Know? Right. I would too. Yeah, Sarah, sure. hang tight. We'll help you, okay? Thank you, and and I, I hope everything works out for you. I really do. Thanks. Thank yeah. you. Yes, I hope <laughs> that you get a real live boyfriend soon. <laughs> hey, bye. <laughs> Terry's like, just texting. Just drop the call. Just drop the call. Just slowly, slowly fade away. Andrew's like, we're really over here fabricating a lie for a lie in real time. <laughs> Listen, let's not, let's try not to judge. Um, oh, yeah, it's a judgment free zone. But we're ish. in a pickle. We're, we've been in a pickle for four years. All right, so, hey, you know what? I'm just whatever you'd like to comment, you can. 502 795 1997. Let's help Sarah out. Poor girl. <laughs> Sarah, who, by the way, not her real name. Has the Angela ho- or Sarah, neither one of them. Is real yeah, right. <laughs> has the hots for a new coworker started at her company. Tiny problem. Uh, she has a fake boyfriend to break up with first. Um, you you just really sum that up real quickly. Yes, we we have we've made up we have photoshopped pictures of vacations. Yeah, he is a pilot, which explains why he's never been around for anything for them to meet him in person. And so now there's a guy that she really does like. And she wants to shoot her shot with him, but she needs to, A, break up with the fake boyfriend, and B, how long do we wait before it doesn't look bad going for a new guy? Angela. We're thinking crazy train. Um, I'm sorry. She's worried about hurting the feelings and making her imaginary boyfriend look bad. She's been yeah. fabricating this for four years. Listen, she doesn't want to make him a bad guy. She doesn't want to make her imaginary boyfriend a bad guy. Angela, you can't sit here and talk to us and say that you've never fabricated a boyfriend before. Never, ever. Except for maybe when I was like a little kid, you know, playing house. Sure. That was about it. Those were a long time, those days. A grown woman. Four years, that's that's quite excessive to let this this lie go. Okay, so and so Angela, what's what's your thought? How do how do we proceed? What what's our next step? What think about if this guy found out what what do you think he would think about this girl that he 
start seeing having been in a, a long-term serious relationship of such fabrications for four years where she sends herself flowers. I that, get it. That is Angela. the one thing that people keep hinging on is the fact the length of time she kept up that ruse. Yeah, I was going to say, had it only been maybe uh, one time and like, oh, look, so-and-so sent me flowers. Maybe that's something that you're like, oh, <laughs> We've a lot of people that. have sent themselves flowers on Valentine's Day. That part's not unusual. But then we we have crafted right. this entire like scenario with photoshopped pictures. Yeah, that 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 is a little bit crazy. Angela, thank you so much for calling in. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't like to be judgy and harsh, but yes, you know, it, yeah, we okay. this, 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 you've got to have some honest some honest truth here, some honest love. All right, thank you, Angela. So Jessica is saying, you know, all right, so if they've been in a relationship for a while, uh-huh. you can maybe say you broke up a, a little while ago, didn't want to tell anybody yet, though. Right, right. So that will give them some time that they've already been broken up, so maybe wait a couple more months, which will then seem like it's been twice as long. And I think she's good with the new guy okay, at work. So here, can, can we can we just... I I don't want to, like, bash her. No, we've already done that. I, I now we now we need to no, help. <laughs> I, I but I I honestly think like maybe this was a thing that just started like a snowball down the mountain. Yes. It just, got to a point where she felt like she where, couldn't get off the train. Now it's like oh gosh now I've I've all of a sudden dug myself this hole. They think there's this guy. They ask and now she feels embarrassed whenever they bring him up. Where it's like I can't say he's not real now. Like this is weird. And then all of a sudden this new coworker comes and she's like okay now what do I do? And so maybe. Maybe this has just been building and building and building and building and building. I honestly think she would be a great romance novelist. Like, start writing blogs, start she writing would. short stories. My gosh, she, she is could embodied be just like this. Colleen Hoover writes some romance novels for sure. She's kind of living one now. Jason is is rolling in trying to help on Facebook. First of all, there are people in real relationships that lie about worse. Yes, as true. for this lady, she could tell them that he cheated or whatever, there had you. a kid with someone else. <laughs> I Stuff mean, like that. <laughs> she They've been over for years. She's just been out of love for him for a long time or something and right. always flying. He's never home. There's lots of lots of scenarios yeah. you could go with. I think I think you just you, you maybe even just tell your coworkers if they are the nosy type and care where it's like, hey, look, we've been growing apart for a while. And and I, I didn't want to tell you guys, but uh, I, we we are no longer a thing and we haven't been for a while. Maybe you just say yeah, that I think and you leave it at that, that and then you just go on and try to try to shoot your shot with with new guy. So, OK, can we can, can we just say good luck? Yes. And, <laughs> and, and we hope all is well. And maybe next time if we next time sh- well, I'm just but I'm saying after, <laughs> if we shoot our shot. With with new coworker and we start a relationship with him and if we break up down the line and then we want to let's not make up relationships in the future. I, I, I was going to say we don't mention this to anyone else ever. No, again, we don't. This is where it no, ends. We don't. This is yep. where it ends. We yes. This we is a just fun little move on. We this don't is, talk about the past. This is a fun little freak flag that you've flown and hit the and Tony you can little button and hit hit it. Oh gosh, yes. yeah. Yeah. This, that's what we do here. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Things happen. The right? past is the past. That's right. right? Past is the past. Let's the move past on. Is the past. Let's move on, Sarah. All right. right. All right. Okay. Thank you. That is group therapy.